Welcome to paradise, my man. You can chill over there by the bar. We also got basketball at any time you want with Roy Hibbert and Detlef Shrimp. Oh my God, that's an actual NBA player. He plays for the Pacers. NBA's on strike, so we got him for only like 75% of his original NBA salary. What up, Roy? This is all you want me to do? Play one-on-one -on -one with Detlef? Yes, and keep your mouth shut. John Raphael. Take me there. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay, if you want this company to survive, you immediately need to downsize. I mean, you don't need this airplane hanger. Um, I think we do. And two, you have to keep detailed financial records. Thank you. I've been trying to tell them that. Waste of time. There wasn't no non-employee tax reportable expenditure request if it bit him in the ass. Hey guys, which two people here started their own company? Because I'm pretty sure it wasn't you two bosos. Hey. Look, you guys can swagger around all you want, but businesses need revenue, okay? Unless you start working on an actual plan, you're dead in a month. That's a fact. Ben, thanks for your time. But with all due respect, as far as business decisions go, I think we know what we're doing. Don't forget to grab a free iPad on your way out. You didn't even grab one. Here you are, sir. And I thought you might also like to know that your meal has already been taken care of by Mr. Hibbert. What? What's up, Jello Shot? Hey, man. Roy Hibbert, Entertainment 720 reunion. Hey, Tom. I am not paying for that guy. He owes me a lot of money. It's true. I'm really surprised you're sitting in this side of the bleachers and not on the Eagleton side with your new girlfriend, Ingrid. Leslie, I'm just trying to help them. Why? They wouldn't help us if the tables were turned. I mean, they're 50 points ahead and they're still dunking. I mean, look at this guy. There's no way he is in high school. And I'm better at French horn too, Eric. People are gonna lose their jobs, Leslie, and the recovery will take years. Deep down, I think you feel bad for them. Okay, I do, a little, yes. And I'm sorry that I blew up at you yesterday. With all the recall stuff happening, I just really need to feel like you're on my team and seeing you with them made me feel like you weren't. I'm always gonna be on your team. You never have to worry about that. Eagleton player number seven, injured on the play, official timeout. Oh, God. I'm gonna say something. And if I throw up on you after I say it, just know that you've been warned. I know how we can help Eagleton.